We'll send it right over to Chris Guevara with the look outside this morning. So Chris, did you see the brief snow we had yesterday? I don't know about you, but it definitely put me in the Christmas spirit. Yes, definitely. And you know, if you definitely live in those higher elevations, you're going to love all that snowfall. But we'll send it right over to Chris Guevara with a look outside this morning. So Chris, one of my favorite coffee mugs I want to show you to use here at the station is this one. It says, let it snow. I know you've seen it, Chris. So uh, are we going to see some snow today? Uh, well, unfortunately, if you're living in Grand Junction like we are, we're not really going to be experiencing that much. But we are going to be getting some of those scattered showers. But if you do want to see some snowfall, start heading to some of more of those higher elevations. And, and it right over to Chris Guevara with a look outside this morning. So Chris, it, it, was, it was raining a little bit earlier. Can we expect rain to happen all day? Or is it going to stop enough to actually enjoy our Christmas Eve days? Uh, well, if you love rain, then you're just going to love today because that is what today is going to bring in the lower valleys. And so now we're going to send it over to Chris Guevara with a, with a look at what's in store for us today. So Chris, did you see the brief snow we had yesterday. I don't know about you, but it definitely put me in the Christmas spirit. Um, I didn't see it at all. All I just know is, is when I went out to do some errands, it was just more of just the light scattered sprinkles to the light scattered showers. And I guess if you love the scattered showers, well, you're going to love today. And if you don't like it, you're just going to have to head somewhere else that's going to get some snowfall. And now we're going to send it over to the Weather Center with, me with meteorologist Chris Guevara. So Chris, I want to ask you, speaking of the holidays, this is my little reindeer my Aunt Barb in New York <laughs> sent me. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Do you, do you have any special holiday, um, any, any props or things that you bring out every Christmas? Uh, actually, back at home, back at home in Indiana, I actually do have the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. So I have the one little ornament. The Christmas tree just kind of slouches over. I mean, you can't get any more, you know, Charlie Brown Snoopy traditions than that, basically. And also kind of speaking of, you know, Charlie Brown, you think Charlie Brown Christmas right now, are we going to have a right Christmas? Well, I'll get to that in just a second. But over to Chris Guevara with a look outside this morning. So Chris, we were just talking about the snow, the, uh, the very <laughs> short lived snow that we got yesterday afternoon. It was really funny. Our other meteorologist, um, Zach Webster, went outside and Maddie was taking pictures of him just like standing out in the snow. Are we going to see any snow this weekend by chance? Uh, if you want to head to the higher elevations like the San Juan, of course, you can get plenty of snow, but I love your Christmas hat. <laughs> Thank you. I love your Christmas hat. I actually yeah. have a question for you, Chris. Yes. So for those that want a white Christmas tomorrow, where is going to be the best but closest place to Grand Junction to find some snow? Uh, really, you're going to have to either head up on the Grand Mesa. That's probably going to be the closest that you're going to get. So okay. about it. I'll definitely plan on doing that. Tune back into midday at 12. We'll see you then. See ya. outside with meteorologist Chris Guevara. So Chris, I know I asked you this before, but I really want to know if you if you knew about that brief snow we had yesterday afternoon because all of us at the station, it, it was just like top story of the day yesterday. Everyone was so excited about all of the white things falling from the sky. Yeah, well, honestly, when you start, start off for scattered showers, temperatures are already staying above that freezing point. So when you get at least a little small cold burst of air that keeps that temperature from the atmosphere to the surface at 32 degrees, that's when you start getting some snowfall to fall towards the surface. And right, we start this afternoon with a look outside with meteorologist Chris Guevara. So, Chris, like like I told you earlier, one of my favorite coffee mugs here at the station is this one. Let it snow. I know you've I know seen it. <laughs> is it snowing right now? You told us like maybe 10 minutes or so ago that it might be snowing because I need to get out there and make some snow angels and throw some snowballs maybe at you. Uh, well, if you want to make snow angels here in the Grand Valley, uh, you might be making more of just, I guess you could say, rain puddles or rain angels, I guess you could say, because the ground is still saturated with that rainfall next Monday, and then temperatures are going to fall into those lower 30s getting into next week. And me and Natasha have a little something else. I am so excited for a white Christmas, but first we, we have a little something for you. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. And away they flew, like the sound of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight. And happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Thank you so much for joining us on Midday. So Chris, um, yep. I want to ask you more about this, this white Christmas that we might have. Can I, is this like enough for me to go and make some snow angels in? Because I'm going to run out there as soon as this show's over. Uh, just lay you, out. Uh, you can actually, yeah, I mean, we do actually have, you know, we do have a trace of snow, but it could be enough enough coating of snow on the ground to I'm, be able to actually do that. 
I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get in the. Yeah, I'm gonna. Rushing. I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna. I am gonna run out there and throw you know, some snowballs. I kind of forgot my hat. I forgot my you hat. You did forget your hat. Well, yeah. we have candy canes though, so so yep. we're good. Yep. Merry Christmas Eve. We hope you have a wonderful Christmas tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. Feliz Navidad. Right over to Chris Guevara with a look outside this morning. So Chris, I have to ask you, were you in Grand Junction yesterday when we got that crazy flurry of snow and super strong winds? I went out on my balcony and stood in it and I was so stoked, caught some snowflakes. Are we going to have any of that anytime soon in the next few days? Uh, yes, we are, especially here in the lower valleys. If you guys love the snow, we are going to get it. However, with how we'll send it right back over to Chris Guevara with a look outside this morning. So Chris, I, um, I know we talked about this a little bit earlier, but yesterday with that crazy snow and strong winds, I got to learn what a squall was yesterday, which was interesting. Are we going to get another squall in the next couple of days? Uh, there is a possibility that we could, but at least so Chris, I, I know I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but I don't know if you experienced the same kind of snow ice mix that we got yesterday, which was so much fun. I was outside enjoying it as people were looking at me like I was a little crazy because I don't see that much on my balcony. Are we going to experience that in the next couple of days? Uh, yes, especially since those temperatures are going to be falling. Guevara with what's in store for today. So Chris, I want to ask you, so for people heading up to the snow today, regardless of whether they're going to Denver or just up to play in the Mesa, uh, what is the weather going to look like today? Uh, well, if we actually want snowfall, we first got to get that temperatures, at least allow that snowfall to stick. And as we're starting to actually make our way through. What a moving story. Well, now we're going to send it over to Chris Guevara. So I don't know about hugging cows, but I do know that hugging dogs definitely is good for mental health and stress relief. It's something that I do all the time. What do you think, Chris? Uh, yeah, I would want to hug a dog. Uh, I, yeah. I, I mean, I'll hug a cow, but I think I'll prefer a dog, especially I'll a dog. Prefer. It's just so cuddly. Yeah, especially a dog who loves cooler weather as well as snowfall and kind of taking a start and looking across the western slope as we speak. We're to Chris Guevara at the Weather Center. Chris, are you excited to see that new Spider-Man movie? Because I am so excited. All those Spider-Man movies are great. I mean, the Marvel series has been very, very good to us the last uh, few I've years. Been, I've been hearing everyone saying this is probably the best Marvel movie movie of all time. So I'm super excited, especially being a Marvel fan myself. And maybe when I go see the movie, maybe I'll have a slice of that cake as well. As we mentioned, I kind of already forgot what it is. But what I didn't forget is these temperatures as we're speaking right now, 34 in Grand by the start of the New Year's. Natasha, are you excited for the New Year's? Oh, I am so excited. But what I'm more excited for right now is the snow. You should have seen us on Friday. My dog Rory and I, we went and it was our first time seeing snow fall. And we just went out in the snow. I was throwing snowballs. It was so much fun. What's your favorite snow activity? Um, skiing even though I've only done it once, but I plan on doing a How lot more. How did that go? Uh, it went good. Good. I'm, I'm <laughs> glad it went good. Well, thank you so much for watching. Tune back into midday around noon, and we will see you there. Hope you I'll just Chris Guevara. So, Chris, I want to ask you for a weather forecast for the people maybe heading up to the mountains this weekend or this week I should say for the people that have this week off for vacation in between Christmas and New Year's. Yeah well if you actually are planning to head up especially if you love skiing or snowboarding you're going to be in luck because we already had one system move in on Friday another one move in yesterday and we're still not done just yet. But and with a look outside let's get a check in with the your forecast with meteorologist Chris Guevara. So Chris, for those who didn't catch the first half of midday, we just saw some adorable pups like grabbing some toys off of the sleigh. Are we going to see some snow in the next few days for, for pups that may want to go sledding? Uh, yes, definitely. Um, especially in the higher elevations, we're not definitely ruling that out. Today. So I think actually that I think Rory's actually going to love the snow as well as the cold temperatures. Yes, I love that you said that because as you know, Rory is a husky and she loves the snow. I was throwing snowballs at her the other day and she was just trying to catch them. It was it was adorable. Um, I don't know if you want to try throwing some snowballs at her too. Uh, I'll, I'll do it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on Midday. We'll see you tomorrow. See you guys.
right over to Chris Guevara with the look outside this morning. So Chris, the weather app on my phone says there's a 50% chance of snow today and there's a little bit driving in here in Grand Junction. So I know you're much more reliable than an app. So what's what's the snow going to look like today? <laughs> Well, we are. This is today's actually going to be our best chance to see snowfall and even. We'll send it right over to Chris Guevara with the look outside this morning. So, Chris, as we can see from the camera that showed just just a little bit ago, it is starting to snow, which is so exciting. Can we expect this to stick around long enough for me to go and play in it when we're off work? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to play in it, as long as these temperatures stay below that freezing point. Center with Chris Guevara. So Chris, what's um, what's what's in store for today with um, kind of varying in in snow amounts per per area? Yeah, well, here in the Grand Valley, we're already starting to notice a little bit of that trace of snowfall. And now we're going to send it over to the Weather Center with Chris Guevara. So Chris, I want to ask you, what do you enjoy most about being a meteorologist here in Colorado? Since um, here in Colorado, the fact is in Grand Junction, especially, it can be sunny and then you look over the Mesa or the mountains and it's snowing. Is, is that part of it? The fact that there's just so much weather here? Uh, yes, especially the mountains, because anyone who lives in Colorado knows the weather can change just so quickly, just within 30 minutes. And that's what just makes forecasting such a challenge and makes a challenge for me, but makes it such a fun experience. And also what makes a fun experience too is the snowfall outside as well. Get right over to Chris Guevara with a look outside this morning. So Chris, as you just mentioned, the snow is starting to come down and it started to pick up a little bit, it looks like, at least from the camera. How long can we expect this to happen today? Um, the reason why it's actually happening is actually due to the cold temp colder temperatures as well as the low pressure system that has already made its way into the western slope. And now we're going to send it back over to the Weather Center with Chris Guevara. So Chris, I know this is a little off, to off topic, but based off of that last story, I know there's a lot of great Marvel movies coming out, and I've been waiting for that new Top Gun for a very long time. But I don't know about you, but I still see Robert Pattinson as Edward in, Edward in Twilight. I can't get out, that out of my head. What, what about you? Uh, I've seen a little bit of Twilight. <laughs> not a fan at all. Not but a fan? No, not a fan at all. Then you can see him as, as Batman then, and that's uh, no issue for you. Batman, <laughs> Spider Man is actually the one I want to actually really see. Huge Marvel no, fan right it. here. And actually, speaking of Spider Man, you know, he's kind of swinging around town, you know, trying to save the day and stuff like that. And Snowfall has also been swinging its way into the Western Slope, as well as these cooler temperatures as well. I hope Worry is actually watching this, because especially <laughs> Snowfall and stuff. In case you guys don't know who Worry is, Worry is Natasha's dog. Yes, she, <laughs> she loves the snow. And you know, Chris, it has just been so with like the holiday story that we just talked about, it's been such a holiday present to be able to work with you. Aww. You are such a talented meteorologist, and I just I just want to say that, and uh, I've just really enjoyed this. It's been so much fun, and not work working with you. Oh, so you. tune back into midday, and you'll see us one more time at noon. See ya. outside with meteorologist Chris Guevara. So Chris, the snow early this morning was so unexpected, at least on my part, and so much fun. We, we took some fun pictures and videos, as, as you know, and it's all starting to melt a little bit right now outside the station. Is it going to pick up later this afternoon so I can go play in it? Um, well, as far as you wanted to go play in it, or even Rory wanted to go play in it, which is her husky, just for anyone who is wondering who Rory is. Um, Basically, I guess you could kind of say that this system's still going to be on and off. The look outside with meteorologist Chris Guevara. So Chris, you, you just mentioned this about the snow this morning, and if we might see some more later today so that we can go, you know, play in it. And I love building snowmen and throwing snowballs at, at you and, you know, yeah, my dog, I'm, Rory. Uh, you know, <laughs> are we going uh, to see any more, just if you can make like a meteorological guess? <laughs> Well, if I could make a meteorological guess, I would say it will be on and off. The system is starting to taper off as we speak. We did start off kind of strong this morning, so we saw a beautiful snowfall, and I think Rory was probably awakened from her bed, or she was probably still just sleeping as we speak. Uh, but even if she's still sleeping right now, well, speaking of right now, temperature is 29 degrees today. And you know, it is National Chocolate Day, so... I got you a whole bunch of chocolate oh, just for you. Oh, well, goodness, thank you. I don't know yeah. what to do with all this chocolate, but I guess the day guess, is appropriate. I guess you just eat it, so. <laughs> well, we had our last day break together yeah. this morning, and this is our last midday, and it may be even be our last broadcast together, which is really sad, I might cry, but it's been such yeah. a pleasure to work with you, Chris, and you know, with you, it has not felt like work. It's, um, it's been so much fun, and you're a very, very talented meteorologist. Thank oh, you so thank much. Thank you. We bring so much energy to the show, and I hope the viewers <laughs> love it. <laughs> thank you so much, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Stay safe.
Have a nice one. Eat some chocolate. Have fun in the snow. <laughs>